Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. Exeter's away tonight. It's a long, long trip. Barnes are hoping to continue their fantastic run of form recently. The latest game beating Sheffield Wednesday 4 2. If I just must say, if you haven't checked out that vlog, go check it out. It's on over 7k views. It was mental. Well, today we take on a solid Exeter side who recently just put five by Accrington Stanley. And I think they've won the last three or four at home. So today's going to be a very tough day. Game. We're travelling all the way down to Exeter. On the Tuesday night, so I'm not going to get back till like 4 a.m. So if you do enjoy the video, please show your support and like. Let's go for 120 likes on this video, and we've just hit 4,700 subscribers, so we're less than 300 subscribers off 5k. So we can chip in and out for that. Put a lot of effort into this channel this year, a lot of traveling up and down country, and all my mates chipping in. There'll be Ryan and Dean and all their news related today. It's going to be a good one, hoping for three points. I'll give you my score prediction when I'm down there, but shout out to Match Day Sponsors, link in the top of the description, doing bits this season, sponsoring me, you know, so go check them out. Let's get down to Exeter, bring you along the way, it's going to be a long one, but I'm looking forward to it. Come in your reds. Right, we're on the way to Exeter, the rearranged fixture, it is absolutely <coughs> bouncing it down outside. We've got Den, you're back again. Yeah, a little review. Tropical How much did that set you back? A fiver from my local. Garage in Barnes. And what are we saying out of 10? 8. Well, Devante call that trick. Today's the day. My heart's saying 3 you know, my head's saying 1 1. So Dean's gone for his usual hat trick with Devante call, Connor. What are you saying? I think Dean's just. Good, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with 3 1 Barnsley. I've put a bet on it as well because I'm confident. I do think it'll be a struggle and I think Exeter will stay in the game for a good. Maybe out until half time, but I think second half Barnsley will pull away a bit. Goal scorers? Goal scorers, I'll go with Norwood, Phillips, and Jordan Williams. What we got here, Ryan? So, I mean, I'm in services, I've just had my KFC, I didn't feel it though. Uh, it right, looks like I'm a burger good. to me though, wasn't it good? Alright, well, but here I've got some water, some mini eggs, and I'm going to have a go on this, try one a banana. Come on then. Well, I banana. Get the badge in. We'll get, we'll get a close up. Go on then, go on then, go on then, go on then. Yee! Yeah! Oh! 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 oh. You almost touched this, mate. Oh! Mate! That's cost me three quid to win a banana. Five, four, seven. Look at that. Have a picture, smile. Get that up, get that Right, guys, we've got Justin. No, it's not a phone. He can't make it. We've got someone to tell you all. He can't make it today. Oh, but... no. So he's banging 50 quid on Barnes to win, both teams to score. Hopefully he comes in. You Reds! We're in Exeter. What beer do we have today? Corona on draft. And you've got a lime, lemon, what is it on top? Lime. You've got to get a lime with Corona. Give it a quick taste then. The southern pint. Is it better than up north? Let's have our taste. Bang on that. How much were it? Three pounds. Three pound eighty-two. And I got a Copperberg on draft that were like two pounds sixty, so not bad value. What would you say that were out of ten? Get yeah, a seven. I do prefer my Madrid or well, well. Not a bad replacement, is it? No, 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 no. Just got a cone on his head. <laughs> right, guys, you can see behind me the exit of the stadium. I do believe we're in that stand there behind the goal. Connor wants to get in the video, but um, I'm confident tonight. These have been on decent form at home. They beat um, Accrington 5 0. So they're going to come into this confident. They start comfortable mid table, but we've been on an incredible run and I'm hoping we can keep it on. We win tonight with the same points as Ipswich. We've got three points behind Wednesday and like five behind Chef Wednesday, uh, Plummer. So I'm confident. I'm off for 2 1 Reds. Let's get inside. <coughs> Free soft drink for all the travelling supporters. They did it at Luton the other year. Hot or soft drink. Fair play. Thank you, Khalid. We're now on the phones of the final fans of Men's Drift Trip. Fair play to Exit Guys and Paul. It's very proud of us to be about Exit and Paul. Let's hope for the three points. Come on. I've got a crossbar to deal with, guys. I've got a crossbar to deal with. I apologise. Oh, 
Double dummy, can it work? Oh, oh, oh get over it. Oh, he is with your money. Good tackle, lad. Fair play, Bobby Thomas. What the fucking, what the fucking hell is that? It was all bouncing before I filmed this one. You can show me What is that? Shocking. Very slow start. We've had a bit of possession. They're looking to counter attack for no real chances. Oh. Oh. Good effort, lads. The ball on my line, he gets it, he cuts in, beats a man, kills it to bomb corner. It's a great finish, the start too slow. These want it more, we need to improve. Not a good start. We're struggling to play football here, we're defending well and we're not quick enough. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I don't even see it, but we've equalised. We've not been the best, but we've nicked a goal. We need to be on it now. Not letting them one slip and get in front. Come on. Pass the pass the score! No! Yeah. Ryan, we scored as you were getting food. I might have saw it though. Did you see it? What you got? Quickly. I've got a, a corny pasty. Good size of that. Bigger than your head. Ready, ready. Smiley first. Right, Ryan out of 10. 10 out of 10. Rock game brilliant. Bring it away. Half time, one all. We've not been the best. It's got a good goal. Bobby's on the spot in the corner. We need to be better at second half. He's better at the back. We we'll hopefully get a goal in front of us. We we'll get three points, but we need to improve on that first half. It was not the best, but hopefully he can get some subs on and we'll be better. Great. So, Jeremy looked good off a bit earlier. Good uh, corner pasty, four pound fifty. Honestly, great night. Nice. Massive. I will give it a ten out of ten to start off with, but as I got further and further down it, I'd say about a, a good seven. Ten out of ten, nice, but it was too big. I know I like big portions of food, but that was metal. But fair play to Exeter, because they do better food in the ground than what they do outside. So fair play to them. Hopefully, second half, we can get another goal, 2 1 win, and I'll be happy, man, and go home nice. Great! See you second half. Yeah! Oh, he's offside. That's a good start, good chance by Cole. I think they're both dead, but it's a good chance. Oh, that must have hurt, whoever that hit, that must have bloody hurt. Close shot, but that must have hurt. We've had two chances, they've been out wide, 
Beat our fullback again, squared it, put it in bottom corner. Been very slow compared to the Wednesday game. I don't know if we're tired or what, but it's not good enough for the two right now. And again! I'm with four subs. There's a ball man, he can't see because of the crossbar. We've gone short, I hope this works, if not. What are we doing? Good opportunity to put the ball in the box. And we've gone for short, now they're on the counter attack. That's a great flick on, but we've mopped it up somehow. Made a quadruple sub. We'll score fast. That is a great save. That's a good save, and it's a good chance. What is that? It's just not happening. Just not happening tonight, unfortunately, guys. Unfortunately. Please drop. Please drop. Please drop. I'm all right. Oh, it's just not happening, guys. They're enjoying it. Fair play to Exeter fans. I think this is the first team to do the double over us. So fair play to them. We're just playing long balls. Two away games, Bristol Rovers and Wickham. We've just not been on ball. Another away game today. Exeter have come up. Sat, not, I wouldn't say sit to defend, but they've defended well. Forced us to do long ball. Stopped us from playing football. And we've struggled to score. And they've scored two good goals. Two cut-ins. Won the field into corner. Won the squared. And he's gone in corner. But we've just been too slow, too off it. But there's five minutes left. Might be able to make a draw, but I doubt it. And just to top off the really, really long away day, Exeter have a penalty. I think it's around the 90th minute. Can I, Ted, save the penalty? Just for a bit of pride, or will they get it 3 1? Let's see. Fair play for Meister, they nearly got there, but it sneaked in corner and it's 3 1 Exeter. It's been a long, long away day and a poor away day. Fair play to Exeter fans, they're, fucking, they're, they're bouncing, they're bouncing. They're enjoying it, fair play to them. Full time, we've lost 3 1. Came out a bit early, they were like 8 minutes added on. But a long, long way for nothing. Booked half a day off work. Poor Luke's ill and he's got to drive us all the way back. It's going to be a long, long way home. I'm going to get home for like 3 4 a.m. So, all the support on this video is appreciated. I've got an unpopular opinion though. Sorry about the bad quality. Barnsley are still going to get automatics. I don't agree with that, but that's Connor's unpopular opinion. It's playoff job, it's not end at Worlds. Uh, our unbeaten runs come to an end, which is unfortunate. A poor way to do it, but it is what it is. Fair play to all Barnsley fans that came down. It's a long, long way on a Tuesday night. Obviously, after that postponement of the first fixture. Fair play to Exeter fans. You're very impressive behind that goal. You've done double overs this season. So, fair play. And good luck for the rest of the season. I don't think you can get promoted or get relegated. So, good luck. And I'll see you in the next vlog, which is more come at home on Saturday, where hopefully we can bounce back.